Welcome to the Under Construction Podcast with me, Martin Williams. Here we talk about how to build or rebuild your life one step at a time. Let's get to work. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Under Construction Podcast. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. All the links to the podcast can be found at guidedexpressions.com forward slash podcast with an S. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the process, right? Anytime anyone talks about the process, it can, you know, be something that, you know, we don't really want to discuss or really want to hear, you know, because we, whenever, whenever you mention the word process, it means it's going to take a really long time. It's going to be drawn out. It's going to be tiresome. It's going to be, um, in, you know, a lot of hard work, a lot of struggle, right? So the word process can bring up some negative feelings in people. But I want you to, you know, think about it in a different context, okay? So as many of you know, you know, if you've been listening for any length of time, I've been talking about this program, The Blueprint, and finally going to drop it in January of 2021, I'm very excited about dropping it, very excited to uh, get it in the hands of people who are really looking to make a life change and really looking to, um, you know, just transform their life in an amazing way. And in creating the blueprint, you know, I have four basic principles and, you know, in any type of um, thing that you want to bring into your life, anything that you want to manifest is four basic principles. It's mindset, vision, plan, and execute, right? You do those four steps, you're going to pretty much get whatever that you want, right? So, and and the, you know, the whole course is basically how to move through those four steps. So, in the mindset portion, you know, this is, this portion has been kind of an evolution, right? I've been saying, well, all you got to do is just think from the place where you want to be. So if you want to be 20 pounds lighter than than what you are now, right, all you got to do is think from the place of being 20 pounds lighter. But there's one slight problem, and I, you know, I knew this, but documenting it was something different, right? There's one slight problem. If you're, you know, if you're, say, 180 pounds, right? But you want to get down to 150 because that's what, you know, you know that helps your health get better, right? Whatever the reasons are. Okay, it can be difficult to think from 150 pounds, right? Because, you know, your reality is I'm 180 pounds, right? Or your reality is I'm 250 pounds instead of being 200, You know, I need to get down to 200, but I'm 250. My reality is that I'm at 250. So we have two um, portions of our mind. We have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind, and most of you know that already, right? Whenever you tell your subconscious mind that you are something that you are in, in factual terms not, the conscious mind throws up a a red flag, right? The conscious mind says, wait a second, you're not 200 pounds, right? You're 250 pounds. And so for a lot of people, that's where the, you know, the the change process ends because that conscious mind is saying, well, that's not you. You're 250 pounds and basically shuts it down before that thought can get to the subconscious mind, right? So what do you do in these cases? Because... You know, obviously, there are a lot of people who've lost weight over the years and managed to keep it off. Okay, how did they do it? So, you know, when you study what people have done over the years, you find it's two things. Number one, they made a decision, right? And then they started to act in the way of that decision, right? So what do I mean by that? I mean that 
the person that wanted to lose 25 pounds, they started acting and started doing things that people who are in who are in shape, who keep their weight at the weight that they wanted to keep it at, do. They do those things. So what, what do people that are really healthy do? They work out, right? They exercise and they do it on a consistent basis. And they watch what they eat, right? They take really good care of, you know, their bodies. They don't overconsume things like alcohol and, you know, other substances and things like that, right? So they do all the, the, those things. And, and those things, we, we will call that the process, right? We will call that the process. Now, for someone who wants to be in shape for the rest of their life, that process never ends, <clears throat> okay? But along the way, they lose the weight. And along the way, they keep the weight off because they maintain the process. Is this making sense? So what a lot of people, I think, get wrong is that they think, well, you know, I'm going to work out really, really hard. I'm going to lose these 20 pounds and now I have to work out anymore. And that's, that's really not how it works, right? If you want to keep the weight off, it's an ongoing process. You got to, you know, basically continue to do those things that got the weight off in the first place. You know how they tell people in relationships, right? You know, you have to do the things that helped you get that person in, in the first place, right? And if you don't, then it could be a situation where the relationship falters because you stopped doing the things that you did in order to get the person. So whether it was, you know, buying flowers and, you know, writing little notes and all these other things, right? That's the process of maintaining a healthy relationship. Part of the process, right? So if it's like a business thing, right? Let's say you want to increase your income. You want to increase the amount of money that you're making on a monthly basis or a yearly basis. What a lot of people have wrong is that they think, well, I'm just going to create this product and it's going to sell like crazy and I'm going to make millions of dollars and I can go retire on a beach <laughs> somewhere, right? And that's happened before, but it's, you know, it's really, it's rare, right? What most people do is they decide, okay, that they're going to make this amount of money and then they start doing the things that people who make a million dollars a year do. People who make a million dollars a year, year after year, Okay, they develop themselves, they develop their product or their service, and they're constantly improving on everything. They're constantly improving themselves, they're constantly improving their product, they're constantly improving their service, right? Uh, people who invest, they're constantly improving, uh, you know, the knowledge that they have. You know, they're not investing with last year's knowledge, they're reading books, they're reading newsletters, they're reading the stock charts, they're reading market reports. They're always looking to get an edge. That's what they do and that's why they stay on top because they're not trying to it's not like a trying to be like a one hit wonder or trying to it's like kinda of like a lottery mentality. It's like if I if I can just hit those right numbers you know, I'll I'll make millions of dollars and I can just quit my job and everything else. And there's no reason why you can't be a millionaire, but it's all about the process of getting there. And a lot of people don't want to go through the process because, again, they think it's going to be this long, drawn-out process, this long, arduous journey. And it may be arduous for you, but I think it's more about you becoming the person that you say you want to be and it, you know going through that process you're much more likely to get to where you want to be on the other side of it now what about the mind okay so here's how i would structure a goal if i wanted to make more money i would go through the process of improving myself, improving my product and my service. 
And then at the beginning, before I do any of that, I would make a decision that I'm going to make this this amount of money, right? I'm going to be in this position. And I would say at the end of this year, you know, I'm, I'm there, right? So I'm kind of... <clears throat> <laughs> I'm trying to go two different places at the same time. So just bear with me for a second. Okay. Before you do anything, once you decide and accept, right, that that's your goal and that's what you're going to have, for all intents and purposes in the spiritual world, you've got that goal. So if you want to be a millionaire and you decide and accept that at the end of these 365 days, I'm a millionaire, right? You basically you you basically have made the decision, you accepted it, and now it's a fact, okay? In your mind. Now, again, you got to deal with this thing called the subconscious mind, uh, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Okay? The subconscious mind can go and create the million dollar reality but the conscious mind has to let that thought through first that's why you go through the process okay you go through the process and as you continue to say i am a millionaire right i am a millionaire but you're doing the things that millionaires do the conscious mind is more likely to let that thought get to the subconscious mind. And once that thought gets to the subconscious mind, then it's, it really is just a matter of time before it happens. For most people, that thought never reaches the subconscious mind because you're, the mind is basically saying, you're not a millionaire. Like, stop saying that. Okay, you've got $20 in your bank account. <laughs> Stop saying you're a millionaire. But no, you've made a decision. It's already happened. But now it's basically faith with work, right? The Bible says that faith without works is dead, okay? Meaning that you can have a lot of faith, but if you don't put any work with it, it's dead, right? It doesn't, it, it's, it's going nowhere, all you're, all you're doing here is you're making a decision. You're saying, okay, I have faith that this is going, that this is my reality. And, not, and don't even use the term, it's going to happen. Because it's putting it off in the future. In your mind, it needs to be now. Okay? In your mind today, right? With your bank account the way it is. With your credit the way it is. With your prospects the way it is. You may not have any likes on your page. You may not have any followers on your page. You may not have a product that's ready to go. But today, you're a millionaire. Are you willing to accept it? Are you willing to make a decision and then accept that this is your reality now? Right? Because you do those two things and it only takes a minute to do it. You're two-thirds of the way there already. Right. You make a decision and then you accept the consequences of that decision. The third step is the maintenance part or basically working as if that's a reality. OK, you're working from the place of, OK, I'm a millionaire now. Right. I have thousands of customers now. So what am I going to do? Am I am I really not going to post for two weeks if I have thousands and thousands of customers? No, I'm going to post every day. Am I really going to not develop my product and make it better? I've got customers that I've got to take care of. No, I'm going to develop and I'm going to perfect my product. And when you start thinking from that place, everything changes for you. Everything changes for you. And you are no longer hoping that something happens. Remember, you've already got it. You've got it in your mind. Okay? I'm basically just working to maintain it. And that's the process. Okay? I'm maintaining 
my vision, okay? My vision is I'm a millionaire and I'm working to maintain that vision and it's a never-ending process, right? But the good news is along the way, the rewards are going to come. Folks, this is as sure a thing as you can possibly imagine, right? This is as sure as the sun coming up tomorrow. That's how this works. And it works time and time again if you work it. And that's the key. So I'm going to talk a lot more about this. And I really hope that you are interested in learning more about the blueprint. And I also hope that you buy it because I think it's really going to be one of those programs that is going to change a lot of people's lives. And uh, I can't wait to get it into your hands. So follow the links in the description and you can go to uh, goddedexpressions.com forward slash blueprint to learn more about it. And also you can pre-order the course. Uh, it comes out in January and it's going to be a great time. So I hope you have a great rest of your day if you're listening to me at night. Hope you have a good night and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Under Construction Podcast on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and SoundCloud. For more information on Guided Expressions courses and products, go to guidedexpressions.com forward slash products.